guys, Kimi here. Most YouTube channels usually put up April Fool's videos that make all their viewers groan. I have my own personal OCD where I don't like posting videos twice in one day, and today, on April Fool's, I'd rather use this habit of mine to celebrate a special birthday instead of posting a video that makes people want to come to my house and punch me in the face for duping them. Today is Timmy's birthday. Those of you who are new to my channel, Timmy is my boyfriend of six years, the brown St. Bernard looking dog in my profile picture, the light of my life, all that good stuff people usually say about their significant others. Usually when I tell people I've been dating the same guy for six years, this is how the conversation plays out. How old are you? 18. You started dating when you were 12? That reaction mainly comes from much older people, to which I respond, correction, 13. Because we started dating December 6, 2013, and my 14th birthday was May 3rd of 2014. I'm sure you can do the math. That usually doesn't help since most people, me included, believe really young children, such as my past self, shouldn't be dating. But I'm not a touchy-feely person. So for about a year, it was more like having a best friend who I referred to as my boyfriend because that's how we saw each other. It took me a long time to get comfortable being hugged or anything. It's not a germ thing, I just don't like being touched. If someone I don't know walks up and hugs me, I don't know what to do. Anywho, before I make you all awkward, I met Timmy in 8th grade English class. We started getting partnered together to do projects, in which case we became friends. I eventually started getting a crush on him. I've had crushes here and there, but I wasn't entirely interested in getting into a relationship for the reason I stated before. But after a while of hanging around him, I changed my mind. That and a mutual friend of ours at the time decided to tell him of my little crush. Luckily, it turned out he liked me back, so we just kind of started dating. Timmy is pretty big on tools and building things, along with graphic design, cooking, baking, caring for animals. He's kind of a jack of all trades. It makes him indecisive now of what he wants to be, what career he wants to go into. Sometimes he'll talk to me for long periods of times about tools or processes about how things are made. I'll admit, sometimes I zone out when he does it. I mainly just like hearing him talk, you know? Plus, I'm sure he does the same thing when I start endlessly droning about maps or ghosts in the garage or warriors. I can see his eyes cloud over after a while of me doing that. Like I said before, he is my best friend. He makes me laugh and I hope I make him laugh too. I usually try my hardest to make him laugh because when he starts laughing really hard, he starts squeaking like a guinea pig. And it is probably the funniest noise you'd ever hear. Timmy has a lot of siblings. His family's structure is a lot different than mine. The most people we've had in my household at once is five. I only have my half-brother James and for four years of my teenage life, it was only me and my parents in our little two-bedroom apartment. Timmy has a twin brother three older sisters, two younger siblings, and parents. I never know the exact number off the top of my head, so I have to count whenever I tell people. Usually I just say, oh, well, Timmy and his 10,000 siblings, because it's mind-boggling to me. I don't even have a whole sibling, just the half one. And Timmy usually scowls at me or says thanks sarcastically when I exaggerate like that because I can't help that. He's a big guy, compared to me at least, because he's 6'2", 9 inches taller than me, and although he's got a bit of a belly, he can lift things with no sweat. We were high school sweethearts, although in ninth grade I was actually in a different school. So the three years we spent in the same high school, we were in drama club together. Timmy was strictly tech crew and I worked as both tech crew and an actor. By the end, before we graduated, Timmy was the manager. It was an experience that was both fun and infuriating, and I'll just save that for a video in itself at some point. The people in charge of drama club would say, don't lift a flat by yourself. He'd be like, what? While carrying one of them across the stage. A, a flat's like a wall with legs that they use for like decorations and stuff, in case you don't know. We're currently in the midst of a competition of who proposes to who first, and I plan to win. Just like when we had the competition of who asks who to prom first, and I did in a banana suit to the theme of YMCA in front of the entirety of drama club. True story, I don't think anyone got a video of it, but it was funny as hell. His reaction was, wait, no, what are you doing? Oh no, Kimi, no, Kimi, why? My college has a lot of fun activities planned and I deeply enjoy all of my classes and clubs I'm in, but throughout the day I can't help but think how much Timmy would enjoy them as well. He tried to apply to the college that I'm going to at some point in our senior year, but it didn't work out for multiple reasons. So my mom will sometimes take trips up here and bring him with her and I'll try to find fun stuff for them to do around campus. 
I brought him along with me to drama club and told the president about how he was a part of tech crew at our high school, and she immediately dragged him to the tech crew room where he was tasked with organizing stuff. Hey, when you got help, you got help, even if it's not permanent. Anyway, Timmy is the best and only boyfriend I've ever had and ever will have. Obviously, I don't plan on being without him anytime soon, no matter the distance between us. I love you, Timmy, and I hope you have an awesome birthday today. I hope you like the video, my attempt at a present when I can't afford to buy something, at least until I'm back there with you. And for the rest of you guys watching, hope you enjoy the video as well. Make sure to wish Timmy a happy birthday in the comments. See you guys next time. Bye!